Ghana has resolved to go ahead with its general elections in December despite the coronavirus pandemic. The country's efforts to compile a new voters register in April was disrupted by the outbreak of COVID-19. With barely seven months to the polls, the Electoral Commission says it will start re registration in June, enforcing all safety measures to prevent the spread of the virus. As CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rofai has more on this. Let's take a look. Ghana's Electoral Commission has argued that the current voters' register is not credible, which is why it needs a new one for the 2020 polls. The commission, however, missed the start of the registration in April when the country was locked down to contain the spread of COVID-19. It is now racing against time to compile the register and plans to start in June. But the main opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, which is against the compilation of a new voter's register, says time has already run out for the EC. Experience tells you that you don't need less than two months to do mass registration exercise. But some funny reason, this electoral commission thinks that they can beat experience. And they are saying that they are going to use 30 days for mass registration to register 17 million people in a COVID period. We think that is far-reaching. However, the main opposition party and the ruling New Patriotic Party both agreed the election should be held in December, despite the threat posed by the coronavirus. Ghana's COVID-19 infections continue to rise after the government eased the lockdown. This has raised concerns about whether it is safe for the Electoral Commission to begin the compilation of a new voters' register for the December elections. But the Electoral Commission says it will enforce all the safety measures, including sanitizing of hands and wearing of face masks during the voter registration exercise. Some civil society organizations say, despite the threat posed by COVID-19, Ghana cannot postpone the December polls. It's more critical also because the constitution does not give the room as to the kind of governance structure we have should we are uh, not able to meet the legal obligation to hold the elections. So it makes it critical to at all costs hold the elections. But there are mixed views among the public on whether it is safe to hold the elections. The coronavirus is still with us, so it is very risky to go ahead with the elections. Once the safety measures will be enforced to prevent the spread of COVID-19 at the polling stations, I think it's important we go and vote. While plans are progressing for elections to be held in December, political parties have yet to hit the campaign trail. As the threat of COVID-19 lingers, the race this time around will be different. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.